Wow, I just finished Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It was so good, I have to tell someone about it. Oh wait, let me tell him. Hey man, I just got done reading a book. What book did you read? I read Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Oh, that's interesting. Tell me more about it. Yeah, something about Harry, Dumbledore, something about Her Hermione? You just read it, you don't know anything about the book? Oh my gosh, I can't remember a single thing about the book. I just got done reading it. Uh, well, time to go to Spark Notes. Hey, it's me, Yush, and that was me for the longest time every time I got done reading a book in college. I would read these amazing books and thought-provoking books, and in the moment, I felt like I grasped everything in it, but as soon as someone asked me more questions about the book, I would freeze and would forget all the information that made the book special to me. Until I started this, I started to take notes on the books I read and summarize the books after I got done reading them. Not only have these two techniques helped me read more books, but it's allowed me to retain more of the information I've read. The common mistake I was making that honestly kept me away from reading more was trying to take word for word notes on every little nugget or passage in the book. I would spend time looking for the perfect quote or word rather than focusing on reading the, reading the passage and trying to summarize the important points in my own words. According to Cornell College, the most effective way is to read, is to actively summarize the information you are reading. One of the mistakes that people tend to do when they read is they try to highlight everything or write down word for word what they saw. Not only does this prove ineffective in retaining information, but it decreases the speed at which you can read the book. I've implemented this strategy of summarizing the books I've read or chapters I've read into my own books that I've read now. Robert Greene has said, when I read a book, I'm looking for the essential elements in the work that can be used to create the strategies and stories that appear in my books. As I'm reading a book, I underline important passages and sections and put notes on the side. After I'm done reading, I will often put aside for up to a week and think deep, deeply about the lessons and key stories that could be used for my book project. I then go back and put these important sections on note cards. If this method is good enough for a best-selling author, it's good enough for me. Another thing that I've been doing is I've been putting, putting down the books that I have not been enjoying reading. In the past, I put a lot of pressure on myself to, whenever I start a book, to finish it right away or to finish the entire book. But now, if I simply don't like the book, I put it down and it's helped with my ability to read more books but also retain the information that I wanted from that book. After I get done reading, the most important step and probably the thing that has helped me the most when it comes to retaining information is simply summarizing what I read in the chapter or summarizing the entire book. This can come in a form of a blog post, Google Doc, or simply calling someone and trying to explain the main concepts of the book to them. Doing this is a small example of the Feynman technique which is teaching the book that you read to someone new using simple language. The more you can do this, the more you'll be able to remember and retain the information that you read. I know if you follow these steps, you'll be remembering a lot more of what you read and you'll be more fulfilled with the books that you read. I'd love to hear about any tips or anything that you've done to help you remember more of the books that you've read. Thanks again for watching. Bye.